guys. So <clears throat> I finally hooked up my cell phone to the GoPro for through Wi-Fi so I can actually look at stuff and set it up. So it appears, well, you can kind of, oh, wait. Uh, uh, not blind yet, so I need to turn on more lights. Not that light, apparently. Let's go as bright as that's going to get. All right, um, we can do that maybe. Not that it's bright outside. It's four o'clock in the afternoon, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. It's already getting dark out. I got me a present in the mail, present in the mail, present in the mail. Do, 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 do. Asia tea stuff. It's probably the worst side to show you. Da, 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 da. No, 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 All right, so I got some stuff in there. I uh, got your batteries for you today, Chaz. So you'll have those in the next trail if you watch my videos. Oh, I didn't grab a knife. Drill bit. Should have grabbed a knife. Cheese or something on it, but it should be fine. This has been a long time uh, coming. I haven't seen anything from Asian teas in a while. Oh. List of something or something or other. Do 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 do. All right, so this should be interesting. Still looking at the cell phone now and then to try and get the pictures ready. Maybe I'll just put this over here. Don't always forget to check out my buddy Terry. He hasn't put up a video in a while, but all his old stuff is still relevant and smart and all that jazz. All right, I'm delaying and all that stuff for no good reason. Aren't I just so professional though, guys? All right, let's get in there. So, nothing overly special or too exciting, depending on what area of the world you come from in the way of what you like for RCs. What have I got here? Ah, I'll just open this stuff. That's wicked. Yeah, we're going scaling, as Penguin loves to say. Probably the craziest guy I know. Well, craziest finger. Got me a little chainsaw. So this is all boom stuff, I do believe. Yes, of course, I just ripped the label off. Yes, it's boom racing. So if you like the chainsaw, check that out. Yeah, having the camera there is not, or having my cell phone hooked up to it is nice. I can see what's going on. It's weird, I'm looking at myself. I haven't had a camera that did that in a while. Then I can also see how badly I'm showing that off or more light. Whew, I'm blind. So there's the chainsaw. There's the other end. I don't know if you need to see that. Let me get that. Is that better? I don't know. I bet you your guys' favorite part about my videos is my professionalism. It's off the scale. It's like right at the bottom of the two. Let's see what else we got here. <laughs> Alright, I'll just take those out of the package later. So in there we got, uh, there's the burger flipper, the tongs, I think I got a oh, wiener flipper, or stabber, or roaster, looks like the barbecue cleaner, there's the other side, that's pretty sweet, eh? <laughs> Getting all scaled up with the CCO one, or sorry, the short wheelbase with the CCO one body on it. So there's your part numbers for the kitchen stuff, if you want to check that out, which I think you should. I'm not overly into the scale world, I'm getting into it now, thanks a lot to Asia Tees and Boom. There's that. Oops, cell phone went down. Starting preview. Eh. The little red wagon. All right, I gotta get that out of there. All right, there's a little red wagon part number.
Ooh, it's metal too. Wheel spin. Oh, damn. Okay, so it appears it was glued on there. It just came apart. I'll re-glue that, no problem. Or some servo tape or something. That's pretty cool. You can almost work that in with the trekker somehow as a trailer. That moves and everything. The front doesn't steer. That's okay. We'll get that fixed up. What else we got? <sighs> Little fire extinguisher. Check it. That's pretty cool. And the part number. Did you catch the part number? So, probably won't be putting them in the description box due to my laziness. Let's get that out of there too. Where's my kniff? Okay, that is a, uh, that feels like metal. A little fire extinguisher. Little rubber hose on it. Ooh, wait, there's a spot for it too. Look at that. Sweet. There's the handle. And where did I just put that? Kitchen tools. Wagon. Fire extinguisher. Just in case I forgot to do it, which I'm not sure if I did or not. There's the fire extinguisher part number. No, no, no. Put that in the wagon. Bah. Oh, pardon me. There's all kinds of goodies in here. Ah, yes. Set of bevel gears. These things are supposed to be kick-ass and last forever, which I'm really hoping they do. Uh, so those are going into the rear end of Relic. Yuck, yuck, yuck. All right. That over there. Dude, check it. That is very nicely detailed. Uh, little beer cake. It's got a tap on it. Feels metal, and this feels kind of woodish, maybe cork. Um, really nicely done, guys. That is a really nice piece. I really like that. That's not going out on the trail. That's too nice. It's like like the straps look real. Like they're riveted in. That's pretty sweet. I like that. <laughs> what else we got? Sweet. Oh yeah, you probably want to know the barrel number. I know I would. Beer cask. Check that. I imagine a couple of you guys are going to be ordering those things. They're really nice. Like, that would look good in your little scale garage. I don't think I'm building one, but I've said that about things before that I said I wouldn't do, and I end up doing them one day. You never know. Oh, yeah. I keep forgetting to do this. Do it again. There's your part number four. Little bottles of Baileys. Yeah, baby. Heavy, too. Nice. Pretty sweet. Uh, one to one bottle of this in my fridge right now. Almost empty. Probably will be soon. Alright. Get out of the way. There's a little bit more in the boxes. I'm sure you could tell there's a little bit uh, more in there. Get some of this crap off the, my filthy bench. Hopefully, not throwing away anything. I don't think so. <laughs> Ah, 
yes. I told Chris from Asia Tees that I would love a roof rack. That I used to have one. It slowly broke over time. I think it was a pro line. We beat the crap out of it for a while. Yeah, it died. It's to be expected, right? So this one is from Killer Body. I have never had any of their products before. Roof luggage rack, 110 scale. There we go. There's your item number, part number. If you wanted to check it out. A little bit of hardware, different size spacers. I would imagine for setting it up at different heights. We'll do some install of this thing at another time, of course. Does that go? So I would imagine this piece would stay on the truck all the time. And then this one goes over it, snaps in or something. I don't know. I'll look at it more later. There it does come with instructions, I guess. <laughs> it's a roof rack. What are you using? The yeah, it goes on that way. So we'll give that a shot later on. It might go on to the CCO one. There again, short wheelbase. But it also might end up on the 6x6 because that thing tows the camper when I take it out on the rare occasion. That's pretty big, eh? How well does that look? Oh, it looks like I broke the other mirror. Hey, right, no more mirrors on the Jeep. <laughs> so that's how that would kind of look on there. Eh, maybe. We'll see. It flexes a lot. We'll see how that does in the winter. Canadian weather is a good test on anything, really, RC-wise. Some foam. Uh, sticker pack. Love the stickers. Got many of vehicles, so more will see stickers. And I got little ones now, too. Oh, yeah. Little tiny scale ones. Usually I just get big ones. I, it's the first time I've gotten those little ones. Oh, that's nice. That should be good. Ooh, more scale stuff. One more item. It's like Christmas. It is. Almost. It's like December 10th or something I'm doing this on. Oh, that is beauty. Look at that, guys. I did not expect it to be that nice. Ah. Oh. Little barbecue. Isn't that wicked? Look at that thing. She opens up. The grill in there. I can put those other tools underneath here. The wheels work. Nice. That's scary. Did you not expect the camera to move? <laughs> I was trying to get a better light shot with it, right? Yeah. Goes off balance when you put the lid open. You got to be careful. Got to be ready for that one. I'm sure, cap will be. So there's that. All right. Let's see what else comes up. That's sweet. I like that barbecue. That is nice. And she's made that metal too. This is like, this is nice stuff. And it doesn't look like it was like made off a production line, right? It looks like somebody actually made that. If that's by hand. I'd be really impressed. Well, I'm really impressed either way. That's this is nice stuff. Fucking boom's awesome. Bearing kit. Looks like a bearing kit. Never go wrong with bearings. Part number is SCXBBZ. So I'm going to assume that's for the SCX10. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Always love bearings. I didn't know this was coming. Yeah, I get a list, right? I get an email that says, thank you for your order and all that. And... It gives you a list. I get to look at the stuff and get partners, and you do a review on it later, which is important, guys. You should go on there and let them know your thoughts, good or bad. Well, you know, be nice, but... Okay, what to look at next. Okay, I knew these were coming. I'll get these out of the way, and then we'll look at what's in that other box that I kind of skipped over there for a second. I got more of these. Now, these are, from what I've read online, are the exact same thing as the Topcat 35 motor, which I can't seem to find. But I got these from Asia Tees. There's a Snow Panther... Yeah, Snow Panther Hobby, world-leading manufacturer of RC. I don't know of them before this time, but 
They seem to, uh, aside from this cardboard wrap, if you remember from the others, the casing seemed to be the exact same casing. It's a little plastic case that the other ones came in, almost like a servo box. These things look the same one. They have the same packet inside that has the other brushes. The can looks the same. The back looks the same. I got a solder on wires that don't come with it. That part kind of sucks. The 27 turn does come with wires and the 35 turn don't. That I don't understand why, but man, I love these motors. This motor is for the short wheel base and then the other one might make it into the sawback. So that's got the Hilux body on it. For now, which it's winter, I really don't want to take it out because it's a little fragile. I got two of those motors. Yeah, they got homes to go to. They're going to be great. Uh, and then this thing. Um, I've never dealt with one of these before. Uh, it's from Sense Innovations. It is that. Uh, if you guys know this one already, some of you have it out there already. It's uh, still fairly new on the market, though. It's a pretty sweet unit. Uh, from what I've seen, it's got all kinds of selections to it. I don't know much about them. Again, I've only seen Crawler Ted have his giant DeMaio one. And I already like that the box is only this big because that tells me that I may not need a crap load of room. Um, I usually don't go fishing for comments or uh, stuff like that. Uh, most of you guys know that. I try and just, you know, I'm your average Joe. I'm your beer swilling, fun loving RC breaking and building and fixing guy. But I would like your opinion on what should this go in? Should this go into my Wraith with the brushless motor? Or should it go into the 6x6? I don't think it has anything that would sound good in the Jeep, but um, I don't know. So, oh yeah, water. Hmm, can't go in anything with water. A relic? Wouldn't this thing have a diesel one, maybe? Relic would be a diesel, wouldn't it? I don't know, maybe a big V8, who knows. So just volume on it right away. That's easy enough. I imagine uh, maybe it's programmable. There's all kinds of wires. Oh crap. Oh yeah, it's got a USB. Get it come with a Dean's... Uh, oh, what would you call that? I don't know. Splices into it to suck power off to go to over to the receiver. <laughs> Pardon me. S-Link. So I imagine it's programmable, blah, blah, blah. I just, again, I don't know anything about them. Uh, and I didn't know it was coming. <laughs> that's pretty sweet. Okay, that's probably boring for me to sit there and read that while you watch me read. At least my lips don't move when I read. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to play with this thing and try and figure out. Uh, I was just trying to see if it listed what, if it has like a list of motors. You want it to sound like a Ford 460, you press this. That'd be sweet. Yuck, yuck, yuck. All right, so that's it. That's all. I got a couple more stickers. Yeah, big ass boom ones. Those are sweet. Some more Asia Tees ones. So, yeah, if you guys see me on the trail and you want uh, an Asia Tees or a boom sticker, I have a plenty now. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, thank you, Asia Tees. Thank you, Boom Racing. Um, I still like that thing and that barbecue. The scale stuff is really sweet. I never got into it before because I only got the Proline stuff and I hate saying bad things about companies, but the Proline stuff is always, man, that doesn't look real at all. They started to get better in the last couple of years, but uh, when I first got into it like four years ago, they didn't have all that uh, highly detailed stuff. This thing blows me away. That's the beer cask. All these items are from Boom. The barbecue is gorgeous. Those tools are pretty sweet. They're all, they feel like metal, dude. Um, yeah, that's pretty sweet stuff. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, opinions below on the speaker thing. If you think you know what truck you want it to go in, let me know. All right, so we got the sound thing going. Sounds like a Canadian stuck in the snow.
that's about it for that. I gotta get it into something, but of course it's gonna have to stay dry. That's the only problem with that, but uh, seems like it's gonna be a fun toy to have. And there's other downloadable stuff you can get offline. I wouldn't mind having that same one that I was just on there without the turbo uh, dump or whatever it's called. The wastegate or something or other? Wastegate or blow off That thing. Anyways, yeah, fingers are oily from oiling up this motor. I can't get anything unplugged right now. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you later.